What's up guys and welcome to Keybinding. Using custom keybinds can have a dramatic impact on gameplay efficiency, so in this guide I'm going to show you the basics of mapping your keys to avoid reaching across the keyboard when you need to hit those important cooldowns. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now in order to access your key bindings menu, you're first going to hit Escape, followed by the second button down, Key Bindings. When you pull up your key bindings menu, you'll see we have a whole bunch of different default key bindings here, and also a nice little user interface to adjust them with. So let's go ahead and talk about ergonomics for a second here. The main reason that you're going to be adjusting your key bindings is so that you can hit buttons easier on the fly. Right now, if you have to hit buttons over here like 8, 9, you have to take your hands off of the ASWD, which is the default movement keys. Uh, your hands off of ASWD to hit these keys, and sometimes you have to take your eyes off the keyboard to make sure you're hitting the right key. So we definitely want to avoid something like that when you're in a high, a high, uh, a lot of stuff going on, like a raid or something. So in order to do that, uh, some of the keys that I recommend for ergonomics sake are Q, E, R, Z, and X. Now most of those keys are already assigned to something. Uh, you can either delete the key from what it's assigned to first, or you can just click uh, or assign the, that key to a number or, or uh, an ability, and it will ask you if you want to replace it. And I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. So the first thing I want to talk about is strafe. This is going to be a big change for some people because a lot of people use Q and E for their strafe keys, and it's because it's, 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 it's default. Now, I, I have a, a Microsoft mouse that has the two left buttons on the side there, and I use those for strafe mostly because I like to be able to move mo almost solely with my mouse. So if you have a mouse like that and you'd like to try this setup, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to change that. So the first things first, we're going to go under our strafe left, and we're going to hover our mouse into that box until we see it light up white. And then you're going to right click. You're going to do the same thing for E. So now you've unbound those strafe keys, we're going to assign those to the two leftmost buttons on the mouse. So in order to do that, you're going to hover the mouse cursor again in the strafe left box, and you're going to hit, well for me, I'm going to hit my front leftmost button uh, on the mouse, which is going to assign mouse, mouse button 5 to strafe left. Then we're going to go down to the strafe right box, I'm going to hit my rear leftmost button, which is going to ass assign mouse button 4 to that. Now I've successfully assigned those two buttons to my strafe left and strafe right, and I can move almost solely with just the mouse. So now that that's done, I'll go ahead and show you how to map uh, your keys, your Q, E, R, and Z, X keys. Now we've already freed up Q and E, so we're not going to get any errors when we try to assign those. But when we do R, Z, and X, those are already assigned, so you'll see little error messages, and you'll get to see uh, how to change it or how to re uh, replace those uh, without having to actually go and delete them from the, the binding. So let's go down to the menu here. You can see I've added a couple of abilities from the mage trees just for... Uh, just for the demo sake. So let's start up here on the right. Uh, this key right here, I'm going to make the Q key. Okay, so in order to do that, you're going to hover your cursor over whatever key that you want to do, and you're going to wait till it pops up and says enter new key. And it'll tell you that it's position uh, bar 3, slot 1. So we're just going to go ahead and hit Q on our keyboard. Our keyboard. You can see that we've added the Q key bind to this key here. So now whenever I exit out of this, if I hit Q, it's going to execute whatever ability is in that slot. If I were to take this uh, this summon skeleton ske uh, ability here and put it on this bar here, Q would now cast that skeleton ability. That Q keybind is going to be bound to the slot, not to the actual ability itself. It's important to note that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and, and put this key as our E key, the second one here. In order to do that, again, you just hover your mouse over that key and you'll just hit uh, E there. Now, say you want to switch it up. You don't want to do them in a row. You want to do, say, this ability here. So you'll come down to this ability here, and you'll do the same thing. You'll find the R key, and you'll hit R. But now we have an error message. R is already being used by reply. So this is going to be how you replace that key in your, your, uh, your key bindings. So we want to replace it, so we're going to go ahead and say replace it. And it's going to take R away from the reply and put it on this key bind. So now when you hit R, it's going to cast this, this slot on your, your ability bars instead of being a reply function. So uh, we're going to go ahead and assign Z and X here really quick. Um, just to get them on there. So now you can see we have five different key bindings here with common letters that are around or surrounding ASWD. So I can hit all of these keys here without taking my eyes off the screen and without taking my hand too far away from ASWD. And that's where the efficiency comes in. You have, you've expanded your, your skill set by not be, having to take your eyes off the screen because if you're in a raid and there's a lot of stuff going on, taking your eyes off the screen for you know two or three seconds to try and find you know where, where you're at or what abilities you need to hit and then pulling it back up could be the, the difference between you dying or living. So you want to definitely try and avoid those situations. Uh, so one other recommendation I do have for key bindings because key bindings don't always correlate to only keyboard key bindings. You can also do key bindings with the mouse 
like I showed you with the strafe. Uh, so one that I typically use and is often overlooked is the middle click button on your mouse. Now, uh, not every mouse has the middle click button, but if you do have it, the first thing I recommend you do with that is put it on a, a button that's really far away, like such as a zero key uh, or nine, if, nine key. If you watched any of my guides, you know that I do the zero key for my middle click. And all my interrupts or cleanses or raid cooldowns, depending on what uh, role I'm playing, will be on zero because it's very easily accessible and you don't have to actually reach to get it. You can get it with your right hand. So in order to do that, it's the same drill as before. You're going to hover the mouse cursor over whatever that key, the zero key. It's going to say right click it to unbind it or enter the new key. So in order to enter the new key, I'm going to hit middle click. And now we have our middle mouse click uh, attached to that button. Now, you'll notice in the key bindings menu that we have a key one and we have a key two, right? So you, down here you see it no longer says zero, it just says middle click. That doesn't mean that zero is unmapped from that button. That just means that the middle click button is mapped along with zero because you can have two bindings uh, per per uh, per ability there. So like for instance, turn right, I can turn right with D or with the right arrow on the right side of my keyboard. So you got some extra functionality there if you do want to still hit your zero key, which I wouldn't recommend because it's so far away from your left hand. So that's the other the, one of the main tips that I, may, I recommend you do is you put the middle click on something that's really far away. So, uh, but with that, that's, that's most of uh, how to do the actual key binding. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the tips here real quick. So firstly, uh, this, is, this key binding guide is all about uh, helping you become a more efficient player. So the first thing you're, you're worried about is going to be what's ergonomic for you? What makes it easier to play? What makes Rift easier to play for you? So this may not work well for you. So by all means, jump into the key bindings menu and play around with it. Find out what keys are easy for you to hit. You know, you might have really large hands and you're able to hit keys that are in the middle of the keyboard. You know, just you'll have to play around with it and kind of find what works what works well for you. Uh, the second tip is try to go easy on the keybinds. Don't put, you know, 20 keybinds on your bar because with all the souls and with the multiple characters that you likely have, you're going to get a little bit confused when you swap back and forth. So uh, also to piggyback off of that tip, you want to make sure that whenever you're making keybinds, you do kind of the same structures across your different builds. Uh, so for instance, the middle click on zero key there, um, all my characters and most of my builds will all have either an interrupt, a cleanse, or a raid cooldown on that zero key. So I can expect that if I swap to a character and I go in blind, if I hit that zero key, it's going to be an interrupt. If I'm in a DPS spec, it's going to be a cleanse if I'm in a healing spec. And that really helps streamline it and make it easier, uh, make you have an easier time when it comes to, you know, swapping around to multiple characters and builds and such. Uh, also with Q, E, and R, those are typically for me going to be uh, either healing cooldowns if I'm in a healing build or DPS cooldowns if I'm in a DPS build. Uh, so that's it's something you can do to kind of help you remember where these things are at and kind of help you uh, get on with that muscle memory, so to speak. So, but that's it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment on the video. And if, as always, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.